Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I have planned for making a wall practice for all of us and of course it's for everyone who wants to join or get inspired by practicing yoga with a wall to get a little bit more stable and to have something to push against, to hug in muscles more and also of course to have a little extra help when it comes to inversions which we will also get to. This is something that we've been practicing at um, Teller Yoga Center for a few years and then the last three years we've been practicing it on Wednesdays at Mangala Yoga in Telluride, Colorado. So now I think is a good time to share because most of us are home at this time of our lives on this earth. So thanks for being here and I'm going to divide this up into probably a three different classes, like little segments for easy upload and for easy access and finding the poses that you love. And you might take some of this or some of that, or you might do the whole practice. We'll start by invoking Ganesha and help us to remove obstacles so we can stay free and clear in our central channel and committed to staying into our center and uh, committed to our practices of yoga, of always purifying our bodies to the best that we can. And I have a little Ganesha, he's right there. He's right there. I like to call the plants Shiva and Shakti, so he stands bus, like right in between his mom and dad. Let's uh, just take our palms together in front of the heart and do the mantra Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha seven times, one for each of our energy center, all the way up towards the top of the head and starting at the very bottom at the root chakra at Muladhara. Just to kind of tap a little bit and ignite a little energy into them, each and every one of them, and to purify and clean and clear. We'll take one ohm to start. Take a nice big inhale. Pataye Namaha, Om Gam Gana 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 Pataye Namaha, free and clear of any obstacles for our time together and beyond. Okay, let's come to our mats. <clears throat> we'll start on all fours with our toes um, tucked under and against your wall. Spread your fingers nice and wide, arc your spine up towards the sky. And hauling it back down and arcing your spine towards the sky and hollowing the upper back, plugging the upper arm bones in and again spreading fingers, arching the spine and coming all the way down, hollow upper back and come into neutral spine. Take your hands a little bit forward and come into your first downward facing dog with the crescent toes onto the floor and the heels up on the wall. So the only thing that's on the floor, if you're not familiar with this, is really just like your high heel, your high heel toes. Those are the ones that are down. You can bend into the knees, raise your sacrum, move about a little bit. And from here, walk your hands in, one-legged, Dog, take your right leg up towards the wall, tuck the toes under, heel up towards the sky, plug your ribs in, hug the midline, and gently walk the hands forward slightly so you can step your right foot between the knees and your left knee to the floor. Inhale, arms forward and up. Long spine from your hips to your shoulders. You can lift your heart, your chest, your lungs. Come a little deeper in 
towards the upper back and in towards your quad and supporting yourself with your left foot onto the wall. Exhale, release, hands to the floor. Step it back, down dog. Walk your hands in a few inches and then take your left foot up onto the wall. Tuck the toes under. Press your palms down, knit your ribs together and just get a nice sense of um, plugging in the midline. And exhale, walk your hands out. Step your left foot between the hands, right knee on the floor. Sweep your arms up into Anji Asana, arms over the head. Pull your left heel towards the sit bone and lift your heart, your chest, your lungs. And exhale, release, hands to the floor. Step it back, come to down dog, come to your plank. You can always hold your plank or you can come through your vinyasa. And exhale, come back to your downward facing dog. Walk your hands in again. We'll take one more of Ekapada, Prasarita Padottanasana variant. Step your right foot up onto the wall and maybe you'll come a little further in, stretching your front and your back of your legs. Hips facing down. And then walk your hands forward. Step your right foot between your hands for high crescent lunge with your left foot against the wall. Lifting your arms up, getting a nice big lift from your hips to your shoulders and the crescent side bending to the back. Maybe coming all the way over towards the door. And exhale, hands to the floor. Step it back, down dog. Walk your hands in, left foot against the wall, bring it up. Ekapada, prasarta, padasanasana, toes down, heel up. On both feet, really. Spread your fingers, lift energy up and away from your palms. And walk your hands forward. Step your left foot between the hands, high crescent lunge, take your arms forward and up and lift nice and tall from the hips to the shoulders and take it up. Length is the key. Maybe you are coming over to find the wall with your hands. And exhale, release, hands to the floor. Step it back, down dog, come forward. Take your vinyasa if it's for you. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, bring it back to downward facing dog. Give yourself a few breaths right here. Step your right foot between your hands and stay nice and low. Extend your front leg and stay nice and low. Drink it all the way in and exhale. Fold over your front leg and inhale and exhale. Fold forward. And hands to the floor, step it back, dog. Left foot between the hands, big step forward. Bend into that front knee, nice and deep. Drink it all the way in and extend both legs. And exhale, drink it in through the heart space, clear the hips, anchoring in with your right foot against the wall. Low lunge to parse Bhattanasana. Exhale, bring it all the way. And gently hands to the floor, step it back and take your vinyasa or your plank pose. Inhale and exhale, bring it back to your down dog. Step your right foot between your hands, turn your left foot flat. So the to pinky toe side is against the wall. Take your hands out to the side for two hand supported side angle. Bend your front knee over your ankle. And gently come back to the center. Back foot against the wall. Take your 
hands uh, nice and wide and then bend your right knee in and come into a Kundinyasana preparation. You can look forward, bending your knee and your left foot can anchor in against the wall and then we'll take it back to down dog. And left foot between your hands, turn your right pinky toe side against the wall, nice and anchored into something really steady and supporting. Come with your hands forward into two hands, support at side angle. Breathing, lengthening, clearing layers. And gently coming with your hands to the front and turn your right foot against the wall like a nice big super supportive ankle. Walk your left foot slightly out, take your hands in your chaturanga mode and bend your left knee and come into um, a kapada kundinyasana with your left leg bent. Look forward, press your right foot like an anchor into the wall. Come back up, press it back to downward facing dog. Hmm. Step your right foot between your hands. I'm taking my left so I can see you. Um, pin your toe side against the wall and the leg that's out away is also slightly turned in. Take your hands forward. Come your hands underneath your shoulders, spine to sky. Hollow upper arm bones and spine to sky. And hollow upper arm bones. And again, spine to sky. And taking it back to the center, come to down dog. Feet against the wall, come to plank pose, please. And from here, maybe take your hands a little bit more so that they're underneath your shoulders for like plank arm lifts, which I find very helpful to prep for handstands. Right arm forward, left arm forward. Seeing if those heels can stay in against the wall. Plugging the ribs in. If we can do, we'll do two more. One on each side. And one more. And come back to downward facing dog. Come onto your knees, please. Walk a little bit away from the wall. Take your hands around your yoga mat for tiger dog. Grabbing your yoga mat, scrunching it up. Take your feet wide, as wide as your mat to get some space for your hamstrings and your adductors and your hips, and lower back, groins, all of it. Scrunch that mat forward. Bend your knees, you might walk your feet in. And get in towards the spaces um, between the ribs, between the spine, between everything. Look between the hands and find more space raise your seat and maybe from there sink your heels towards the floor looking forward turning and churning into the space in the back of the heart into the tips of the lungs and exhale come back to your normal down dog and from here walk forward and take a seat onto your forearms and we'll do a little L shape with our legs. Come to forearms, please. Bring your knees in. Take your legs up to the sky and do a little leg drops with your right leg down and with your left leg down and coming back up and letting the feet meet up in the top. And we'll keep that going. Making some memories for the legs to be in an L shape and then to meet at the top. And 
mind getting some good stabilization into the core abs and into the into the adductors so we're hugging from the root of the big toe to the inner ankle to the inner knee inner thigh deeper part of the belly and then we'll just take a few kicks to kick it out we'll take 10 that was eight seven six five and four and three and two and one take it all the way up nice bend your knees and come and take a little pause just take a little pause and then we'll come back down onto our forearms four legs together feet together knees together and extending out both knees in and extending out knees in and extending out and knees in and extending out do your very best to keep your feet together we want to squeeze the midline here you can point your toes and see how that feels because maybe by the time we come to inversions you might like pointing your toes better than pointing them or spreading the toes i go in between we'll do 10 more here 10 and 9 eight and seven and six and five four and three and two and one and bring it out and up and cross at the legs and take downward facing dog please fingers nice and wide and walk your high heels I like to call them kind of high heels up onto the wall and come with your shoulders and wrists stacked upper arm bones hollowed in bring your legs up onto your wall into a nice 90 degree angle breathing holding making sure the weight is over onto the knuckles and the fingertips, taking your right leg straight up for an L shape in our L shape and switching sides with a left foot up with an L shape in an L shape and then taking it back down and step your feet back down onto the floor. Come forward, come into forward fold please feet together letting your arms your shoulders relax bending your knees come into chair pose utkatasana with the arms forward pull the upper arm bones in take the bicep towards the ears and then we can sit nice and deep and squaring the thighs off with the yoga mat you can get a little nice um, awareness or burn from the skin to muscle, muscle to bone. Mm, staying fully planted. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands behind, interlace. I like to um, separate my feet slightly so that my hips have a little bit more space when we're going to come into bending. Lift the upper arm bones up and back, bend your knees and fold top of the head towards the floor, arms up to the sky. And exhale, release hands to the sacrum and take it all the way back. Step your feet to down dog. Not on the wall this time. Instead, give yourself an opportunity to um, stretch out to your heels, to your Achilles. Press the palms, lift the upper arm bones. And then from here, step your right foot in between your hands and come over to the side again, just to get like a nice, clear 
line into the legs and inner rotation of the thighs, press into the root of the big toes, and then take your hands over towards the wall. And we're going to start with just having a little fun doing some tuck jumps. So kind of like chair pose, but we're gonna jump up and down and to why? Because I like to get nice and toasty in towards the upper back and purify the heart center, remove any obstacles that might be in the upper body. And that also will lead us later into some really yummy back bends. So you can take a child's pose, you can take a um, chair pose, or you can come along for this. Take your hands a little bit further out, maybe like half a meter or so away from the door, maybe even a meter. We're gonna come up onto the toes, bend the knees, and jump up and just do like a couple of tick tocks. Up and then back down. Up and back. And we'll do one more for fun, where we just get to come up and maybe find a hold. And come take a child's pose, take a little pause. And downward facing dog, please. Let's come up on the toes, bend the knees, come a little forward. So it's like a kind of a funky down dog. And then hollow the upper arm bones into the sockets. Step one foot forward and take your kick up into a handstand. breathe and we are at the wall because we might want to use the wall um, and that's probably why you're here uh, joining me for a wall practice and then we'll kick up with the second leg mm, so the opposite leg kick up see which one that might be for you and how that goes usually it has a lot more power because he wants to really help out Come forward, hollow upper arm bones in, and make your way up to your handstand. <laughs> and it's also okay to put both feet on the wall and practice there and build some nice strength into the arms, into the shoulders, and then bring it back down. And then We'll take a little pause, maybe a few more of those. So for now, we're just gonna lay down on our back. Take the arms over the head, stretch the legs forward, and then we're going to plug the lower back, the spine in towards the floor as best as we can. Expanding the back body. There's still gonna be probably a little lift in your lumbar, sure usually is on mine, um, especially with both legs outstretched and arms. And then we're slowly gonna take it back and hands under the knees, roll all the way up and come to standing. Come to the wall, I know it's kind of in a strange angle with the camera um, due to space, but we're gonna put the heels onto the wall and then we're going to glue those floating ribs as best as we can into the wall and lift ourselves up. This is perfect heights for me. <laughs> and then we're gonna lift it all the way up and see if we can just glue our back body into the wall. And we're really helping to bind everything in towards the core, in towards the front side of the core. So whoosh, sip it all the way in and glue the back of the body in towards the wall. You can stay right here and have a good time. 
and then you can take a little pause and you can decide to do that again and stay standing and press against the wall or you might roll up and glue your feet against the wall and glue your spine against the wall and that way we're just finding a little bit more space into the center and expanding into the back body really just blasting energies from outside to the midline and clearing layers so we'll do just that we take the middle finger and put it like one centimeter it's a very short distance next to the wall so it's not very much in between you and the wall and then we'll roll it up and see if we can find this doorway works really well for me um, when you're 5.1 then I guess this is really good <laughs> I hope you have a good wall for you glue your ribs in claw your fingertips feet together and have a good time finding your ribs on towards your wall and then exhale take it back out take a little pause and then we're going to take the hands out one hand length away and then we're going to kick up and put our feet against the wall and then from here we're going to have both feet together and see if we can pull them off at the same time expanding into that back body and taking it back down just having really fun with it then take your hands away a little bit further away last one last handstand there'll be some walkovers later but for now this is the last handstand take your hands like three hand lengths away or go with any of the previous ones maybe you're doing an L shape and then from here see if you can kick up and not touch the wall take your shoulders over your wrists step it in spread the fingers and make your way up and I'm gonna call my handstands check at that you try I think you should do one more give it another chance excellent and then from here or you could pause me and do as many as you like come into down dog please downward facing dog bring your feet against the wall mm -hmm. spread your fingers lift your upper arm bones step your feet between the hands take your hands underneath the feet padahastasana and stretching our palms and giving giving our palms like a good grounding feeling like a good nice massage so you can walk your toes all the way up onto the wrist creases and you could even like grab those toes and then releasing the head And slowly release take your hands to the hips elbows to the sky and come up to standing and release the hands to the side come all the way to the front of your yoga mat and inhale arms up to the sky and exhale hinge and fold Uttanasana inhale long spine and exhale fold take your feet wide bend your knees and from here come all the way up with your hands in the front and have like a nice wide um, Utkatasana chair pose and then we're just gonna stand up from there and just give our hips a little nice kind of different way of moving after we kicked our legs up into handstand we'll just do a couple to clear the hips and to reset our SI joints and our sacral area and we'll 
do one more. And take it up and take your feet back together, hands to the side. Inhale, bring it all the way up and exhale, fold. And inhale, long spine. Exhale, step your left foot back so we're not against the wall right now. And we are a little bit further away from the wall. Hands to the hips. And we're just using all that plugging in that we did to find more depth to dig in towards our core. Take your arms up towards the sky and then make fists out of your hands, put them next to your hips and inhale, come all the way up with the hands and exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, on this third one, we're going to lift the knee into the chest and find more of a center line. Take it back out and again. Just super powerful standing in our center, blasting energies through our layers and finding a good, clear line of energy that we can just move through. We can download clear energy to all layers and we'll do one more just by doing these exercises and exhale hands to the floor step it forward uttanasana forward fold take a little pause step your right foot back these kind of movements just seems to benefit me more than endless sun salutations which of course has its amazing purpose but at 52 sometimes the shoulders the back the wrist don't always hold everything all the pressure so um, this um, I love take the arms up towards the sky and then take your hands to the hips inhale bring your arms up to the sky hands to the hips and again inhale this time take your knee with you check and see how this side feels maybe it feels just as aligned as your first side maybe it's different pay attention to ankles and knees and hips feel all four corners of your foot mm. hands to hips nice arms up hands to and we'll keep it going and again last one bring it back and hands to the floor step it back down dog come and take a seat take a little pause and hands can be in your lap and you can let all of that soak in to all of the layers and prepare for the next segment which will be standing and more digging into the upper back with forearm balance variations with the help of the wall i'll see you in the next video do come back and practice forearm balance and standing poses with me